These are some of the delights from Cool Derry. It's like a harrier, some butterflies, celandine, white flowers, fungus. So I think it's definitely worth coming back to. The rhododendrons are supposed to be um, quite rare in here. They do well, they have to be turned back quite regularly. It's just muddy though. I think it's the 8th of January today, third day for lockdown. It's the say that uh, Cool Dairy is the place. It's a wildlife trust nature reserve. About 7 hectares or 17 acres in total and um, not used by lots of people. It's no use for wheelchair access. Definitely a welly job anyway. In springtime the whole ground is a mass of flowers. Definitely worth putting on your bucket list. Beech leaves make a nice contrast of colour and the decay, fertilising the ground. So casual is the winter time here. Paths are all well maintained though. And well mud is mud isn't it? You don't do much about it this time of year. It's um Got a lot of history this place. Looking out the other night, um, the first one of the first few people around this place discovered Fuller's Earth. And um, I've taken some pictures of that with my camera many years ago, which I'll dig out off the machine with this left strewn around anyway. Even had a little uh, train which is powered by a water mill or a water wheel. So we'll have a look and see what we can see up here. It's very still today and very calm. Just enough frost to keep the ground hard. Remember when I was a kid, the ground was always frozen. When I worked in the farm, we used to have to kick the tins out of the ground and chuck them into the old heart cart. It never seems to happen these days. And beach leaves make such a nice contrast to the ground. We hear the river on the side here. Well, there's any big waterfalls in this little glen and um, just to prove that it is frosty you can just see the little bit of frost in the leaves of the trees here and the shrubbery it's just uh, 
Just delightful really, isn't it? Just delightful. Must be just in the shade enough not to get any sun to thaw out. Frosting the leaves again. It's not going to clear today, now this time of day is about three o'clock. Hmm, choice is here now. Do we go over the bridge or do we go on? Do you reckon, Penny? Which way should we go? Up this way? It is nice to be out. I was quite surprised, really, in this little glen. The lockdown, I thought there would be a lot of people in it, but not today. And she's just met a friend but decided she'd rather walk than play today. Old tree there. You can see it or not. I was starting to tell you the uh, in this glen was a a mine, mining full as earth. It doesn't mean much to people these days, but when the wool was valuable, full as earth was used to clean the fleeces. And also, I think that's something to do with uh, shell loading or gunpowder. I may be wrong about that, so don't quote me. I'm trying not to fall in here. Well, the path now takes an onward and upwards trek and we'll now stop here. I got my new saddle as well as on today. So we'll try a bit of walking up the river. Hopefully not to fall in. Reach the little bridge up here. Lovely clear water when this says on full flood. Full as earth causes it to look quite blue. Tree trunks too, moss laden, frost covered, just looks the part. Now we have to make a decision as to where we go. Now we go this way. These little foot bridges are mighty handy, but my goodness, are they slippery? You can see the flowers there on it. Pretty good. Penny! Where have you been? The old river is slippery, difficult to keep it steady. Yeah, you don't want to be falling in today. Or any day, really. What a little footbridge. I definitely have to use this one.
Look at those beech leaves again. The colours are just glorious, aren't they? Oh, big lump of earth goes down there. That's the rain we've had this year. Those trees are obviously going to come down soon. It's a bit full of earth. Yes, um, guy invested a lot of money in it. Went bankrupt, I think. It was sold out to a few other people. It's been a leisure park. There've been summer houses, boating ponds, walks. There's a lot of um, planting done here of exotic trees. It's been over 50 birds species documented. I find the whole thing of the glen peaceful. Always something to see, even in a day like this. Look at the ferns going on that tree. And behind it, the mossy laden branches everywhere. I've been on this path before, so I've no idea where we're going. Penny's in front. Penny! Good girl. What have you found? Definitely moving away from the river. The volume has dropped. You just think this was like a is it? All those forests and the exotic parts of the world with these big ferns growing up. And the ivy on the ground growing everywhere. Awesome stuff. Even a very top of that fern. You can see where I was in the wellies now. One of us has to come back the same way. Don't like going back the same way as it went. Colby Manx, I don't know. But if I go into a wander on a house, I always gotta get the same door. They say it's not superstition, but I'm sure it is. When you're back home, I'll do a little bit more research on Cool Dairy. See if I can give you a bit more info on the place. Put, put it on your bucket list. Just where you are, Lisa. Travels from Glen Willen basically. We're opposite Glen Willen. And it goes up to virtually the gallery, I suppose. I have to say, my nose is running. piece of wood with the leaves on it. <laughs> Amazing. Looks like we've come to the end of that path, Penny. That's what that means. 